Ma'am. Oh, hey, what's hey, up? What are you doing here? Uh, just grocery shopping. Hey, we're gonna record this one quickly. I'm doing a review on the Samsung Mic Go. Now, the reason it's in the box and I'm not even wearing the mic like I said in my other reviews and I'm talking really fast is because I don't even have time for this review. Excuse my French. I, and the reason I said I don't have time is I was not happy with it. I don't mean to bash a product or someone's business. I don't mean to bash someone's business. I understand how important someone's business is, but I wasn't too happy with this product. I'm gonna to try to calm down and explain that. I played the clip of the footage that I recorded on when I was trying to do my shoot. I'm a very busy guy. I don't have time to around with beta testing products. The Samsung Go Mic Mobile is meant for mobile phones and I love the concept. The idea is fantastic. Things I hate about it, I'm not gonna pull it out. If you actually wanna see the product, there's enough product review videos out there because I'm returning this. I was not happy with it at all. I'm gonna just tell you guys why I'm not happy with it. If you guys want to listen to it, listen to it. But my advice, save your money. If you're doing a shoot like I do, save your money. And I'm gonna explain the type of shoots I do right now. But let me just explain how this mic's work based on the photos and what the problems are with it, what I don't like and I don't think a lot of people are going to like. One, it is 2019 and the uh, mic pack is as big or bigger than a normal Sennheiser G3. I used to use Sennheiser, I still use Sennheisers. The G3s, they're fantastic mics. I've had them for over, I've been using Sennheiser G1s and they have held up. I've been using them over 10, 15 years now. They still get the job done. That actually saved my shoot when this one failed on me. Testing it here in the house worked fine, of course but on the field where it needed to be used. I couldn't get it working. Look at this audio, it's horrible. The guy was not even more than 20, 30 feet away in a car. And yeah, you guys are like, well, you're in a crowded mall garage. Well, when else do I need the mic? I need the mic when I need the mic. And I need the mic to do the job when I need the mic to do the job. And you guys would be like, well, it's your fault. But I mean, this is made for the mobile phone and I need a mic that's wireless for the mobile phone. I'm able to use my Sennheisers on the mobile phone with the right connections. Let me uh, try to calm down though and uh, <laughs> give some better details of problem with it, okay? When using this mic on a cell phone, it's they have a list of suggestions of apps that work with this mic. I tried all the free ones, none of them work. Even a freaking uh, camera app that comes with the phone doesn't work with it. Open camera doesn't work. I don't care what anyone says. And I don't care if there's a process to making it work. I'm not here to beta test someone's product. I'm not here to figure this out. I always want to plug it, play it, do it, you know? I don't have time for this stuff. Job is on beta testing big products. Okay, I know I'm making these review videos and you're like, well, what are you making these for? I'm making it for people like me who need a product at work and we're sick of seeing bad reviews that don't give the truth or don't give, the, that, and they're making me buy this. I couldn't find a review that was decent. People are glorifying this uh, mic. Some people say it's crappy, some people say it's good, but I just felt I didn't get an honest opinion. I didn't get to see honest footage with it. Real life situated footage. I saw test footage, but I didn't get to see someone using it on their shoot and then failing on it. So when this failed, I went to the Sennheiser G3s. I just, those are old, they're big and bulky. And again, the problem with those is you need that lapel wire. I like the Rode Wireless Go because it was just a mic you attach on, it's ready to go. What they need to fix on that Rode Wireless, they need to add an SD card recorder right on it and they need to fix this line of sight issue. I read other reviews or saw other reviews and you turn your back and the audio cuts out. Same issue I was having, the audio kept cutting out on this field. With this one, the mic pack requires a AA battery. I mean, requires AA batteries. It's like, what all other mics is already built in batteries to charging? Why the hell am I gonna get AA batteries for just a transmitter? Then it has this XLR cable nonsense and an old school antenna and oh, it's a hassle again. Okay, up, dude, I am here. I don't have a lot of time to, to waste. I wanna mic up my actor or whoever I need to mic up and get going. Furthermore, I did like the fit on the cell phone. That I did like, it fit on the cell phone, but the parts were cheap. The, uh, the little spinning thing after set actually fell out and I had to find it in my backpack. Luckily, I didn't lose it. The little uh, windscreen on the mic, I've lost it. So hopefully this will give me a refund. I'm not gonna lie, it's gone. After one little shoot, it's gone. I barely used it, it didn't even work. It's missing, probably fell off on the after. I have no idea. 
what happened to it. I looked everywhere for it. It uses a silly XLR cable, meaning good luck trying to use your own little mic. It uses this little mini one, so you have to buy mini XLR lapel mics now. You can't just use 3.5 ones. And the biggest issue was I finally found an app. You know, I mean, I know the app that's gonna work with this uh, mic, and I was filming GoPro, and you gotta pay 15 bucks for it. Not a big deal, but again, you wanna work. Every time you load it up, the first sound you hear when it's first loading up is a static sound. You have to switch the mic on, off. Trust me, it is a hassle. I didn't record that, but believe me, it wasn't a good experience. And then on top of that, I can put up with the whole switching mic and stuff things if the mic works on set like it's supposed to, but it did not. And because of that, this has to go back and I'm just disappointed. They have a good idea here. I'm just disappointed that they would sell something so faulty like this because this is in beta test mode. This is not something you can use realistically on a shoot. The only place you can use it is in a little house. And again, if you're on set, you're working with even a big time actor, which I've done shoots with, major actors, big ones. I'm talking about the biggest ones I've done shoots with, where I have to mic them up and go and film. And they're limited on time because I have other interviews to do. They're not gonna wait for your mic to get set. And then you're gonna be like, well, you don't use consumer equipment with big actors that's irrelevant then don't sell it i'm not going to use it with shit. if i can't use it with the big actor i'm not going to use it with the small actor i'm not going to use it with anybody if it doesn't work i'm not going to use it so don't sell it till it works i'm very disappointed with this whole new line of digital microphones that are coming out I'm, I'm new to this new mic game i'm realizing now and it's just disappointing to me that they're even going this whole digital route 2.4 gigahertz everyone's wi-fi is on 2.4 gigahertz i can assume in a crowded mall, you're not gonna be able to use this. So why even make it discreet? Why even, this isn't even an option. My old Sennheisers, the G3s, I think they're on RF frequency or UHF or whatever they're called. I don't even know, I don't remember. Again, I know you guys are like, well, this guy's probably not the most knowledgeable to be uh, reviewing microphones or equipment. I mean, I've been using it for years. The thing is, you know, uh, most of these people who are buying it and stuff, they want to just use it, get it going. We don't want to, we don't have time. It's not our job to be researching every aspect of this mic, you know? Just don't sell this beta test products. This is going back, I'm returning it. I'm not happy with it. I'm sure you guys can tell in the tone of my voice, the speed of my voice, because I didn't even want to record this review. I was like, why? I didn't even pull out a box. I don't even want to record the review. I, I'm just recording this because I may not even end. This may never even be seen on the internet. If you're seeing it, I must have calmed down and said, okay, I, I want to help somebody who's thinking about buying this mic. Don't waste your time if you need it to work when you need it to work. I did the test. It's, it's a waste of your time. Uh, there's one other more mic I am going to check. It is a Sennheiser, again on digital frequency. I already checked in the house. I went across the house. It started cutting out. I know my G3s were not, but I'm going to try it out in public. I'm crossing my fingers and hoping Sennheiser has made something good. It's about 100 bucks more than this mic. I'm going to show that in the next review video after I use it this week shooting, and I hope it works fine. I hope I'm happy with it because the idea is I want to be able to record my cell phone and it's really it's cell phone manufacturers too, Samsung, Apple, the, I'm assuming the two biggest companies out there right now making cell phones. I'm assuming maybe you guys have a fans of other brands and stuff, but it, at least Samsung has kept a headphone jack. Add a microphone jack, guys. A lot of people want this, those cables wouldn't be popular if people didn't want a microphone jack. Just add a separate microphone jack, make your app, your standard camera app, record mic external audio just just stop being stubborn about it people want this add a cold shoe if you have to you know allow external special external mics on the cell phone now on or built-in external mics i don't know what you got i mean built-in abilities to hook up wireless external mics i know there was a phone that did that apple add back your headphone jack for one and then go ahead and add a mic jack even in there we want this this is something we want to use we're tired of using these big bulky bulky devices. Cell phones have gone fast enough to edit on. Their, their video quality is fantastic. Let's get some external mics into cell phones, guys. Thank you. If you like my review, please leave a like. If you hate it, please leave a dislike and leave a comment. Uh, you know, I hope this was an honest review. I told you I don't do uh, I don't do paid reviews and stuff. And even if I did, I'd still be pretty honest with everybody. I have no interest. I mean, unless it pays like a lot of money, then come on, this is probably sometimes for a lot of things. But <laughs> I'll still be honest if it's a paid review again. And if it's a bad product, I, I it's tough for me to hide it. I'm, I wouldn't be able to fake such a. I, I'd show you the actual product in use. I mean, if it's bad, you saw this product in use. I mean, what am I gonna say? That's good. 
it's a good product? I can't say it. I mean, how? You guys can make your own judgment on that. Anyways, I'm done talking about this mic. Don't get it. Uh, again, Samsung is definitely a good idea. Add the SD recorder maybe to the transmitter. Make, get rid of the antenna on the transmitter. Get rid of that silly little, make that optional, that mic. Don't put a built-in mic. Make it small like the Rode Go. Make it smaller if you can. Or bigger if you have to. If, it, if you can add RF frequency, just work on it. Fix it.